Hey, are you thinking about doing a VA or FHA or USDA assumption? Let's talk about the pros and the cons. First of all, what is an assumption? An assumption is where you, the buyer, can step in to the seller's loans. Now, this is only possible on government-backed loans, so USDA, FHA, or VA. Now, with VA, you do not have to be VA eligible, but it is much better for the seller to sell to someone who is eligible for a VA loan because if they don't, you tie up their certificate of eligibility or the COE. And that could prevent them from using their VA loan until you pay off the current mortgage, which could take 30 years. So I usually do not recommend that my sellers accept a non-VA eligible buyer. But you can step into a FHA loan or a USDA loan um, without having to have that benefit of being a VA approved buyer. So there now with anything, there are pros and there are cons to an assumption. Some of the pros, of course, are you get that lower interest rate, which equates to a lower payment. Um, another pro is it is now it's getting much more streamlined. Um, it's a simple application process, and now there are actual companies that you can hire. Then the buyer pays seven fifty, and the seller pays seven hundred and fifty dollars, and they run the assumption for you. So they've kind of streamlined it, made it a little bit easier, and you just submit your docs to um, this company, and they do everything for you, and they can close a little sooner. So it also, you have lower processing fees. The VA loan assumptions have uh, much lower processing fees. I don't believe um, that you have to pay the VA, Wendy, uh, the VA funding fee because you're stepping into a loan versus uh, acquiring a new loan. And again, the interest rates. What else can you say? That is a fabulous pro. We are actually going to look at some available assumptions here on Island, and they had assumable loans all the way down to 2.75 up to 4.1. So again, we'll, we will take a look at those and kind of compare what your prices would be um, by assuming the loan versus if you were to just go get um, a VA loan at today's rates. Um, another pro is it's much easier to assume uh, existing loan terms. Uh, so, you know, you're kind of locked in and they're low. Uh, they can't, and they can't change those on you because you were literally stepping into a loan that's, that's already uh, gone through that process. Now, the cons. There's always cons. So... Property use, again, it needs to be your primary residence for at least one year. Um, it's kind of a con for a seller because they do want to recover that entitlement, their certificate of eligibility, um, so they can then buy another home with their VA loan later on. Um, and if they don't find a VA buyer to step in that has that certificate of eligibility available, can kind of hurt them later on. Now, there are sellers that I've seen do it um, because they do get a little desperate, um, but it's not something I like to do. I want my um, VA buyers to have that benefit. You never know. Ten years from now, you may want to use that benefit. Um, lenders are not required to approve the assumption, and they're still looking at your debt-to-income ratio. You still have to qualify, um, and then... The credit and income, again, you have to qualify. You have to meet the lender's requirements with um, your debt-to-income ratio, with how much money do you make, can you cover that payment. Uh, you also have to bring money to the table. The gap funds between the balance of the loan and the, your purchase price. You have to bring this cash to the table. Now, here in Hawaii, sometimes that can be a lot of cash. We appreciate 
two to four percent a year. So if, if this person's had that home for five years, uh, you know, it might be a lot of cash. I've had buyers bring over four hundred thousand dollars to the table. The ones we um, are going to look at today, those are less than a hundred thousand in gap funds. So that's that's great. You know, if you um, have have access to some cash or if you sold a house or if you can dip into your TSP and pull out your um, a down payment for a house it, it should work just like it would work as a down payment um, for those gap funds uh, but unfortunately that is a con that you do have to come in with the gap funds and again it is can be a very lengthy process the longest I've had them take is about four and a half months. And now that we are using a processor, um, they are claiming they can do sub 45 days. Some of lenders are taking up to 90 days. Um, so you do have some time to, that you're going to have to wait. And I know with um, VA buyers moving to the island, their T TLA is 30 days. So um, we are starting able to get early occupancy so you can kind of get in there and you're covering the mortgage payment and HOA fees um, if it's a condo uh, for the seller while you're waiting for your VA assumption to close. So like I said, we are going to take a look at a few of what's available right now with less than 100000 in gap that have a VA assumable between 2.75 and 4.21%. There are some great deals out there right now. We will take a look. And if you have any questions on these properties, let me know, because then we're going to go analyze them and kind of check out what is your payment if you do the assumption versus what's your payment if you bought at today's rates. So let's go take a look at those houses. This is a three bedroom, one and a half bath unit in Upper Makakilo. It is listed for $529,000. The loan balance is $460,000 at a 3.21% interest rate, making the gap funds needed uh, about $70,000. So this is a great assumable option. This is a two and one and one half bathroom unit in Mililani. It's currently listed for 530,000. The loan balance is 431,300. Um, the payment is $2,114 a month. The interest rate is 2.75. So this is a great option and you'd need you know, around 100,000 for the gap funds. So we have a two bedroom, one and a half bath in Eva Beach. The loan balance is about $450,000. It's currently listed at $485,000. So it's about a $30,000 gap that you would need the cash to cover. And it's at an interest rate of 4.125. I hope that helped you understand more about the assumable loans. Again, it can be government-backed loans, FHA, USDA, or VA. The lender does not have to approve the assumption. Um, but if you have any questions about the places that we visited, or more questions about an assumption, or if you have a home that has a great rate with an FHA, a USDA, or a VA loan, and you're thinking of selling, it does help the properties move a little bit faster um, with the rates where they're sitting now. And so this has been Keenan Isley with Team K Squared of Keller Williams. And I would love to help you through the process of buying or selling your home using an assumption. Please give me a call. Talk to you soon.